Example 63. Below lists the probability distribution for x, which equals the number of three-point shots made out of four attempts by Dwayne Wade during a single game. The probabilities are based on Wade's three-point percentage from the 2010 season. Find the mean of the given probability distribution. Okay, so they give us a probability distribution and they're asking us to find its average. So I'm just gonna copy down the table so we can work with it here. The table actually has x, which is the number he shot, shots he makes out of four, right? So these are three point shots and it's zero, one, two, three, and four. That's the possible outcomes, obviously. He can't make more than four shots if he's only taking four attempts, and he certainly couldn't make less than zero. So those are all the possible outcomes. Now from there, we're gonna go ahead and list the probability that those events occur. And again, they've given us these probabilities based on Wade's historic percentages. And if we fill those in, according to the problem, it's 2320 for the first one, it's 0.4091. 0 0.2706, 0 0.0795, and lastly, it's 0 0.0088. Okay, so there are our probabilities. Now, what we want to do is multiply these two columns together. We should also take a moment to check to see that it is indeed a probability distribution. In other words, we should add up these probabilities to check to make sure that it is a probability distribution. Um, I can just give a quick rough check here. If I add 23 and 27 together, that gives me 50, and then 40 more will basically give me 90, and actually that's close to 41, so that's 91, let's say. And then we have 91 plus about 8 is about 99, and then this is about 1, so there's about 100. So indeed, this does seem to add up to 1. You can check it with your calculator if you'd like. From there, what we want to do is multiply these straight across, right, to see what the totals are for each one. So we're literally going to go straight across multiplying, multiplying each of these numbers together to produce the x times p of x column. Now, 0 times this, of course, will give you 0, and 1 times that will, of course, just give you the same number, 0 0.4091. Let's continue on here. We'll do 2 times 0 0.2706, right? So it should give us 54.12. That's correct. 54. 1, 2, and then we'll have 3 times of roughly 8, so it should be close to uh, 2.4. Let's see, it's 3 times uh, 0 0.0795, and sure enough, we get 0.2385. And then lastly, we'll do 4 times 0 0.0088, and again, we get 0 0.0352. Okay, so there's our x times p of x column, which we created simply by multiplying straight across. And then the last thing we have to do to get the mean is very simple. The mean is simply equal to the sum of the x times p of x column. So this is the formula for the mean. You have to add up the column x times p of x. So this column that we created, we're going to just sum it, and the answer down here will be the mean. Okay, so let's do that. We have all the numbers there, so let's do 0 0.4091 plus 0 0.5412 plus 0.2385 plus 0 0.0352. Okay, so those are my values, or at least the non-zero values. Obviously, I don't need to add zero because it's going to do nothing to the total. And when I finish the problem, I get 1.224. So what do we do to interpret this? Well, basically we're saying that over the course of a game, if Dwayne Wade shoots four three throws, or sorry, four uh, three-point shots, he will end up making roughly 1.2 of them on average. Now, of course, you can't make 1.2 shots, but on average, you can make 1.224 shots. So basically this number is pretty close to one. So you wanna say just in general, if he takes four attempts, he's most likely to make one shot he'll make in general on average over the course of the game, you know, a little more than one of the shots for every four attempts he takes. So now what you would do at this average is to say, hey, well, the coach told Wayne Wade, you know, take, uh, you know, 12 three-point shots minimum per game. It's going to be a guaranteed, what? Well, not a guaranteed, but on average, he's going to have close to three of those go in, which would equal nine points for the team collectively. So that would be the idea. Of course, the coach could also say, well, gee, your percentage is too low. And that means that this is a low percentage shot and we should go for, what, a different strategy. Maybe we should, you know, just stick to 
taking shots that are more likely to go in, so just go for the two-point shots. So again, coaches could use these numbers, these analytics, to make decisions about um, how to coach the players. You know, if a player has a very high likelihood of making um, three-point shots, then the player should take more of them. If the player has a very low likelihood, then the player should take less. If you get an actual quantifiable number for that, you can have it here. Another advantage to this number is you could actually use it in trade negotiations, right? If the number was quite high, Dwayne Wade could go into a negotiation with another team and say, hey, you want me on your team because look at on average how many three points I make out of four attempts. You know, If the number was particularly high compared to peers in the same uh, price range, he might be able to say I need a higher salary because I'm more valuable because of this point scoring total. Anyway, so that's the idea. We calculated the average, we have the average, we answered the question, and that's it.